Tim, 10 consecutive wins for this team, best record in the majors. What's it like being part of this club right now? We're on a roll right now, and uh, we just got to continue to keep doing that. Uh, got the win tonight, tomorrow's another day, and going for another win tomorrow. How much fun is it being this weapon off the bench who can come in and steal a base when the Yankees really need it? Yeah, it, it's fun, but I mean, I'm not in that situation without Giancarlo getting a hit and then Glaber getting another hit and our pitching staff keeping us in every single game. So, I mean, it's a total team, team effort and team wins throughout this whole stretch. Take me into stealing that base. What are you looking for there? How do you get a jump like that? I'm, I'm always just... <laughs> I'm, re I'm ready to run from the first pitch, and on that third or fourth pitch, I, I got what I wanted and got a good jump and got the second base, and that, that's my job. Tim, when you, how do you stay loose? Because you know exactly the expectations of you. It, everyone is expecting yeah. you to steal a base right there. Everyone. Uh, the opponent, yeah. your own team. How do you stay loose and stay focused on what you have to do? I, I've been in this role for a long time now, probably about six or seven years, but uh, I start getting loose in about the second, third inning, and whenever they need me, I'm ready to go, and that, that's been my job for a while, and I, I'll continue to be ready whenever I'm called upon. And in terms of mentally, you know, in terms of the mental focus that you have to maintain, knowing what is expected of you, how do you not try to do too much, which obviously is the... Yeah, I mean, coaching staffs and uh, all the information we get on the pitchers, it puts me in position to be able to steal that base, and fortunately tonight it worked out, and uh, we got the win. It's one thing to be fast, but to be a good base dealer is another. Uh, how much prep work do you do for that, and do you think you're getting better as a base dealer in addition to just being a fast guy? Yeah, like I said, from the first time we got called up, the coaches I've been with from the Dodgers to the Diamondbacks to here with the Yankees, I mean, the coaches have given me so much information and helped me out so much to help put me in this position and use my speed to my advantage, and I wouldn't be in that spot without those guys. Were you always the fastest kid when you were a little kid, too, running all the races? Honestly, uh, in college, my first couple of years, I wasn't that fast, and then my junior year, I stole 40 out of 41 bases and sort of realized I had some serious speed, and then t just took advantage of it. You didn't know. <laughs> I, I didn't know. It sort of came to me at my junior year of college. Tim, what makes a great base runner, a base stealer? Good instincts and helping the team win games. <laughs> That's it, right? <laughs> That's